Hello, uh, my name is Ivan. I am here uh, at Capra and Cavelli to show you some of the new things uh, that we've gotten in for this fall of 2021 at what is hopefully the tail end of the pandemic. Uh, manning the camera is uh, my good friend and colleague, Russell, who uh, can say hi from behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> um, and uh, as I take you through these things, if you see anything that you like, uh, I would encourage you to email me at Ivan at capracavelli.com um, and have me set aside your size. Uh, things being what they are with the supply chain uh, disruptions, uh, things are much, much scarcer than uh, during regular times. So if I happen to have it in, uh, you may want to snag it before it is uh, gone and not able to be ordered in. We're going to start with something that we've actually had for a while, but I wanted to mention it uh, because it has proven to be uh, a fantastic stocking stuffer. These are Dutch wallets. Uh, the company is named Secret, and they got a couple of nifty features and a couple of features that go beyond nifty. The nifty feature number one is that they each have this little lever on the bottom, which simply fans out your cards for you, and that's just kind of cool. Uh, however, the not so nifty but very useful feature is that they are RFID protected, which means that if you do a lot of travel in Europe, Asia, uh, or indeed some of the bigger metropolitan American centers, it keeps the uh, digital pickpockets, if you will, from scanning your credit card information. It keeps it nice and safe. Uh, there are a couple of uh, models that we carry. Uh, the basic model. Uh, which is just the unit itself, and then uh, there's a band that you can mix and match uh, if you want to tuck cash underneath it, etc. And then there's the leather-bound version, which actually uh, has a spot for cash. It has a couple of non-RFID protected slots uh, in the leather casing as well, which is actually very useful if you happen to have uh, magnetic access cards. That way you don't have to remove them. You can just put your wallet up against the reader and it lets you into wherever you gotta be. So that's secret. Um, let's move on over to some of this merchandise, which is new for the fall. We have some leather jackets from Misani. Um, they uh, are, if you're familiar with our leather jacket stock of the last few years, you will find some familiar models, but we've also brought in this really beautiful suede overshirt. So it's less of a true leather jacket and more of a casual shirt that you can uh, wear over just about any other kind of shirt. Everything from a dress shirt down to a t-shirt. It's really nice. Um, we have some Byron uh, jackets. This is the model that we brought in last year, the Zante, which has a knit sleeve and a micro suede front and back. Uh, in a few different colors, the black, brown, the navy, but also from Byron, we have the micro suede overshirt. It is very similar to the suede from Misani, but if you're the kind of person that's uh, maybe prone to spilling things, uh, this being a man-made material uh, will take liquid spillage much, much better, uh, and it won't get ruined like a lot of suede will. Uh, if you drink red wine like I do, the uh, micro suede might be a better way to go. And then, let's move on over here. Uh, we brought in some uh, reversible vests from Byron, again, uh, in a couple of different colors. Navy, gray, uh, I believe, uh, well, we, we did have some uh, olive and gray, but we may have already sold out of them, and I think we're going to try and get some more in. Uh, this is a fantastic piece from, I don't know if they call it Garnet or Garnet, but uh, regardless, we have it in a cotton uh, gray and navy with this really beautiful burnt orange trim. So it's a nice thing to wear to UT events and games. I'll put it on for you. You can put the collar down 
like it is now. Just a really nice casual piece that, you know, is, if it's a little bit windy, or it gets sh chilly in the evening, etc., is just great. And then if you can pop the collar up, it gives you a little bit of that uh, Italian uh, kind of vibe, European. Uh, really, really cool piece. We have stocked up on Scott Barber shirts, which is, uh, if you're familiar with our store, you know that this is our go-to for a nice classic fit, traditional sports shirt. Uh, we have a bunch of those in. And over here, we have some uh, pieces from Sailor and Bride, uh, which if you're familiar with our store, you've seen before, but we brought in a couple of new models, like this kind of a black uh, racing jacket. And then also from Garnet, uh, you know, your ubiquitous lumberjack overshirt. Uh, this one is lined and quilted on the inside, so it actually has insulation. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you need to build a log cabin, you simply cannot do it without one of these bad boys. Uh, really nice and warm, but pretty lightweight. Uh, very stylish. You know, again, perfect for uh, camping, uh, fishing, hunting, log can building, log cabin building, etc. Overcoats, right here. My favorite, Suri Alpaca charcoal, subtle check. We have uh, some vicuna, some camel. Uh, this is a great, I believe it might be a copy of a Gmo jacket. I could be wrong about that. I'm hoping I grabbed the right size or I'll look ridiculous, but oh, I did. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, there aren't that many occasions uh, in Austin to wear this, although last year, if it proves anything, there might be occasions when uh, you can have a true winter coat. Uh, we all remember those two weeks. Uh, but if you do any kind of traveling, uh, it's a nice, nice thing to have in your closet slash arsenal. New sports shirts from Marcello. Uh, great brand. We've had them in here for a few seasons now. Great success with those. Uh, Jordan Raw, we've had for a couple of seasons now. Really great uh, shirts. Uh, that company is helmed uh, by a German gentleman who actually works out of LA. And uh, it's a really nice kind of European take on sports shirts. Uh, we have a whole plethora of those. This hoodie is also a George Roth piece, you know, with the kind of the exposed seams, uh, a very, very relaxed, casual look. Um, and, you know, if it gets chilly, uh, you don't have to throw on a coat. You can just do a cool European style hoodie. And also from George Roth, it is gorgeous uh, cotton, uh, silver gray cable knit cardigan sweater. Excuse me. Um, in fact, I love this piece so much, I bought one for myself. Uh, I've already worn it a couple of times. It is absolutely wonderful. A uh, very, very luxurious feeling uh, because uh, I forget exactly what it is. That's right. Um, it's mostly cotton, but it also has some cupro, uh, which is a synthesized cotton. Uh, it's uh, uh, what comprises the lining of a sports coat. And because of that little bit of synthesized cotton in there, it actually gives it a much, much softer and silkier hand feel. So that to me, it actually feels more like wool than it does cotton, but it still has all of the properties of cotton, meaning you can throw it in the machine and wash it. Uh, gentle cycle, cold water. Over here, uh, we've had uh, Benson in here for a couple of seasons. Uh, we brought in some new pieces of theirs. This is an absolutely beautiful uh, 
polo sweater, kind of like what I'm wearing. I'm not wearing a Benson brand, but you know, it's a merino wool uh, polo that you can wear as a sweater, like it's displayed here on the uh, mannequin, over a collared shirt. You can wear it over a, polo, uh, uh, a cotton polo, you can wear it over a t-shirt, or you can wear it like I'm wearing it, as a shirt uh, with nothing underneath. That wool feels really nice against uh, the bare skin. We also have it uh, in a crew neck style, the lighter version and the heavier versions, uh, and a variety of colors, as, as you can see, and then even uh, some with the contrasting collar and uh, some subtle patterns. This vest is by Scott Barber, uh, actually very, very lightweight. It's a nice layering piece. Uh, you know, you can kind of, if you're in a sports uh, shirt and jeans and uh, it cools down in the evening and you don't want to throw on anything heavy, but you just want one light extra layer, um, that's a really, really, nice way to go. And then, over here, we have brought back uh, Luciano Visconti sports shirts. Uh, if you're familiar with Luciano Visconti from a few years back, when we used to carry a lot of them, uh, you probably remember them as a very, very full uh, classic fit shirt. They have updated their fit, so they've trimmed it up a little bit. It's still a generous cut, but it is uh, not, nowhere nearly as baggy as it used to be, and it has a slightly more contemporary uh, modern silhouette. And then also we have some gorgeous sports shirts from Garnet. Uh, I, in particular, like this one. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. Speaking of Luciano Visconti, um, we have a number of uh, jean, denim, and five pocket pant lines, but the Luciano Visconti, as displayed on this mannequin, is our trimmest fit of probably any pant we've ever carried at uh, Capron Cavalli. This is a true slim fit Italian jean. And if you look at that silhouette, you'll see that on a lot of guys, it'll be essentially right on the skin um, without actually being looking like uh, yoga pants. Right? As far as other five pocket lines, uh, a couple of seasons ago, we uh, brought in 34 Heritage, which is probably the most comfortable pant that I have ever worn in my life. It has an insane amount of stretch to it, um, so much so that you have to size down unless you want a very, very generous fit. Um, I'm a, you know, uh, these days tight 34 waist in my dress band. Um, should probably graduate to a 35, but I'm refusing. I wear a 32 in these guys all day and I still have plenty of room in there. Um, and then as far as the other, and those come in uh, a, a bunch of different colors, we carry the uh, dark denim, the medium denim, and the tan, but if you like them, we can get other colors for you. And then uh, if you've shopped here before, you are no doubt familiar with the Brax brand. We still have those. We have the jeans. Uh, we have the five pockets in gray the tan, the perma blue as they call it, it's a really, really deep navy, and also black. And that is about it. The last thing I'd like to talk about, just as an aside, um, you can follow me down here, Russell, is uh, we've noticed a very uh, noticeable uptick in the demand for black tie formal wear. Uh, a lot of weddings that have been postponed uh, because of obvious reasons, uh, people feel that they want to elevate uh, now that they can actually have them. So maybe they were originally planning to do suit and tie, but now that they finally get to 
get married and, and throw the, the party, uh, a lot of people are choosing to go black tie. Also, as things open back up, a lot of galas are starting to happen again, charity balls, uh, all sorts of opportunities for formal wear. So I wanted to just remind everyone that we do carry uh, tuxedos from a few different manufacturers. We also carry uh, all of the accoutrements uh, for black tie. Um, we carry a number of different styles. For example, this is a very, very traditional tuxedo. Uh, it's a peak lapel with bees in pockets and uh, you know that single button uh, with the one concession to modernity, which is the side uh, what's it called? The side? Vent. Vent! Thank you. <laughs> uh, which I think is a, is, is a fine concession. Uh, we can always close that up for you if, uh, if you choose to go fully traditional. We carry the notch with the flat pockets. We carry the... Well, we did carry... Ah, yes. The Midnight Navy with the shawl. We have a couple of different dinner jacket uh, shawl lapel designs, a nice midnight navy, also the classic ivory, which is a beautiful thing. And then we have your cummerbund and bow tie sets, both traditional black and other options. Uh, we carry braces, we carry vests, uh, tuxedo shirts, uh, shoes, uh, we have traditional patent leather tuxedo shoes, we have uh, crushed velvet opera slippers, uh, we also have uh, whole cut Oxfords from a new line of shoes that we might as well talk about real quick. Armin Oler, this is a whole cut Oxford, meaning that only has one a uh, single seam in the back, otherwise it's one piece of leather. A lot of people feel that this shoe is elegant enough to wear with the tuxedo, especially if you put a nice high gloss shine on it, but at the same time, unlike the patent leather, which you will only wear with a tuxedo, you can wear this with a suit or with slacks. Since we are in the shoe department, a new line of shoes for us is Arm & Oler, and they make just Beautiful classic dress shoes with Capto Oxford, right? We have also brought in a new line called, uh, well, a new line for us called G Brown, and that's these three models right here. This one being a particular favorite, I bought this for myself as well. Uh, this is a completely unlined, unstructured penny loafer, super flexible. Uh, really, really comfortable. If you're into the, you know, no sock look or the no show sock look, this is a fantastic shoe for that. Uh, it also comes in a blue suede, which is really cool. Probably my next pair of shoes. And then we have a Cupsole Venetian loafer. Uh, this is actually a great shoe to wear with shorts in the summer. Um, very casual and very comfortable. We've also brought in RM Williams from Australia. Uh, it is a brand that does sportswear and they specialize in the Chelsea style of boot. So we have a few different colors. Uh, these two, the chocolate and the black, are yearling leather. And you'll notice all of their boots are also one single piece of leather. Most Chelsea boots out there that you, uh, you will find actually have a seam right here splitting the side so that it's made out of two different pieces of leather. leather. This is a single piece, Goodyear welted, comes in both a leather sole option or what they call their comfort padded sole. And even, if it, even though it is a rubber sole, you will notice the Goodyear welt stitching. This is a rubber sole shoe that can be resold. And this particular one is made of kangaroo leather, which is, for its thickness, the strongest uh, leather out there. And then finally, 
We've got them in chocolate and uh, tobacco suede. Really, really sharp. And finally, uh, one of our flagship uh, Alakeso shoes. Really nice uh, bit loafers in brown and black. A deerskin uh, Norwegian split toe. Incredibly comfortable. This is a very, very uh, versatile shoe. You can wear this with a suit. You can wear it with jeans, anything in between, chinos. And then, uh, you know, we always keep a stock of the uh, Wolverine Thousand Mile work boot as well. And that's it. Um, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.